So now we're going to bring in two LFOs. So um, I have my sine wave that we just used a little while ago. And I'm going to patch that into CV1. And I'm going to bring the polarity of CV1 into the positive direction. So there we just have one LFO coming in. Sine wave. Modulating delay clock here. Uh, for the second one, I'm actually going to use a uh, saw. Patch that into CV2. CV2 right now is in the off position, but as soon as I flip it into one of these positions, we're going to hear the summing of CV1 and CV2 go into the delay clock. There we go. Nice little tom sound. It's a little bit of a complicated patch for a tom sound, but. Nonetheless, it's a nice time. And then at this point, since you have everything patched in, you know, you can adjust the CV to your taste. Maybe turn the delay clock up a little. Um, or, you know, start switching the polarity. We got CV1 polarity switched. Now we can even switch both. I can bring the frequency up a little. That is a nice little demonstration of CV1 and CV2 and different polarity settings there. And I guess you could get fancy and try to patch both and just uh, do it like a little switcheroo. So, there you go. Pretty cool. Um, these two here, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but I'm going to mention it again if I did. Uh, the clock out and the external clock in. Uh, I'm not going to be demonstrating those. Uh, I don't have a, another BBD module handy. Uh, maybe in the future sometime I'll demonstrate that. Uh, maybe in a follow-up little segment. So these two will not be demonstrated. Uh, we demonstrated the CV out, and you know, if you want, we can even demonstrate it once more, just so we know that we understand what it does. So CV out again, we use to filter out the clock noise. So we go CV out into the low pass filter over here. I should get more of a controlled sound. And I do, in fact. played around a lot with the feedback, but that's okay. I'm good where it's at. I mean, we could get crazy and start going in here and adding feedback. For the purposes of our demonstration, I think we got a good chunk of the items and, you know, got to see what a lot of these features do. So, I'm going to have to maybe clean up a little bit here. As you can see, we got some got some craziness going on. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And then coming up in the next small segment, we're gonna do a demonstration of the external feedback in. Um, hopefully it'll stay for that, because it, uh, it should be interesting. I hope to be, I hope it to be. Um, if any of you are gonna tune out, Thanks so much for staying and watching this demonstration. 
for those of you that don't, or for the do, I guess, sorry. Uh, for those of you that do, you're going to get a little treat and find out what the feedback in does. So, let me unpatch that. Okay, welcome back. This is going to be the demonstration part of the uh, of the feedback in section. I had to do a little bit of rearranging here uh, as far as the camera is concerned, uh, just so I could uh, demonstrate this. Now this particular angle, it's a little harder to see the BBD, but for our purposes, we're only gonna be dealing with uh, two things here, these two right here. External feedback in and uh, BBD out and of course mix out. So hopefully you were here for the first segment. We got a triangle wave going out to the filter. And so we're gonna patch out from the filter into the input of our BBD module. There we go. And then we're gonna go from the, this time, well, no, let's do the dry signal. So we're gonna do malt out to the Input one, there's our triangle wave again. You remember that. And I'm gonna bring this signal down just a little bit because we're gonna wanna hear external feedback part. Um, so this time around, I'm not gonna actually use the mix out. Uh, I'm gonna use the BBD out, or actually I am gonna use the mix out, but I'll, plug, I'll patch that in a second. So I'm going, BBD out, and then down here, I'm going into a VCA. Now this is just one scenario that you could run this uh, BBD out into. Uh, you could also run it into another filter. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have another filter, so I can't demonstrate that one, but uh, I will demonstrate it on a VCA. So this is gonna, in effect, you know, the whole purpose of this is to be able to send our BBD out signal somewhere outside the module in order to voltage control the feedback kind of indirectly. So uh, what's gonna happen is the BBD out signal is gonna go into our VCA and then it's gonna go back out into our feedback in. Now, nothing's really changing yet, our gain is approximately the same, um, and it's just feeding right back into itself, which is in essence what this circuit does. But now that it's in this module, we can do a little bit of voltage controlled uh, adjusting to the feedback. So in order to hear that though, we're gonna have to go mix out to our mixer. Um, now I'm gonna go into the filter, just like so get a little Adjusting here, so we're going BBD, BBD out to VCA input, and then output of the VCA right back into the external feedback input. Our mix out is going to be carrying the signal, the original plus the BBD signal plus the feedback. So we're going B, uh, mix out of the BBD module into the audio in of the low pass filter, going audio out into Input two. Okay, so we're getting something. So I'm gonna manually adjust it. So I'm bringing the gain up on the VCA. I'm bringing it down. There's just regular feedback. I think I have it on, don't I? No, I actually don't, it was all psychosomatic. So now I'm gonna bring up the gain on the feedback. gain all the way up. You can hear it distorting there. Okay, so I could manually tweak this and adjust my feedback, but it would be more fun if we 
can control it with an LFO. So here's our LFO we were talking about earlier. He just had to get into this uh, demo here. So we're going to go triangle out of the LFO. And then we're going to patch into the VCA. Now, for those of you who don't know, VCA is amplifier. So we're basically going to be adjusting the amplitude of the signal going into the VCA from the BBD module and we're going to be moving it with a triangle wave up and down so in effect the volume is going to go up and then it's going to go down. So we're plugging into CV1 should start to hear a change in the gain of the feedback. We're getting a nice rhythmic pulse. Okay, so I'm going to actually bring up the frequency of that. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So, and that's all happening in the positive direction. I may be distorting a little bit because my uh, audio in at the VCA is very high, so I'm gonna try backing it off at the round three and see how that sounds. It actually doesn't sound in control. I actually like it a little distorted there. Okay. So there we have that. Uh, now, the other part, negative polarity, let's try that. We're just going to flip right over. Of course, we have to wait a second for it to update. frequency of the LFO, so we hear what that sounds like. So that is a short little demonstration of the usage of the external feedback in on the BBD module. And just one scenario again of how you could set that up. Um, let's uh, just for kicks play around with the delay clock. And since we're kind of going towards the end of our demo here, let's go nuts. So I'm going to take my sine wave from my LFO and I'm going to patch it into the CV of the BBD module. And I'm actually going to go in CV2. That one's a little more interesting. So we have that in a negative position I left it on earlier. Flip it up. So we have in the positive direction, we'll bring it all the way down. And then we have just our uh, external feedback being modulated at the VCA point by the A145 uh, triangle wave. Again, sine wave is going up to the clock of the BBD module and modulating it at CV2. Uh, but right now we have the dial for the intensity of that all the way down. And we're just going to bring it up. There you have it. The Dofer A188 BBD module 
That's my take on the demonstration. Um, I'm going to leave you with this. Hope you liked it. Uh, here's uh, quantized random voltages saying hello. There he is. Uh, hopefully I can set up a demo here. Uh, still got to hit the manual a little bit more on this one to understand exactly what, what all is going on in here. Um, but give me some time. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that one soon. Um, so, we'll leave you with that. And thank you for watching. If you did watch, or if you're asleep right now, uh, make sure you set your alarm clock. So, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, just gonna sort of go up with the speed of that. And add a little.